welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today is a primark haul one of my favorite videos to film and they have quite a few new autumn winter things in so i actually headed into manchester city center primark which in my opinion is one of the best primarks there is it's got the friends cafe the beauty salon one two three floors of lots of goodies yeah three so plenty to choose from i usually go to the traffic center one which is good but just not quite as big so they have good stock there but the city center one you just can't beat so i decided to venture on in this morning picked up quite a few bits quite a few bits so i thought i would just sit down and share with you everything that i did pick up loads of homeware bits honestly their homeware i might as well just be doing a primark home haul because in fact, that is maybe something I should start doing is just fashion and then homeware hauls because their homeware is so good at the minute. So yeah, I picked up loads of new bits to share with you. So should I start with the homeware? Yeah, and then I'll do some trial clips of the fashion. Primark head office did actually very kindly send me a PR goodie bag. This itself, this bag in itself is from Primark and there's no price on it so I can't tell you how much it was because they did send this to me very kindly but it's also filled with lots of kind of PR goodness so what I'm going to do is share this I think um, at the end of the video just if you wanted to see what they did very kindly send me from head office let's start with this tiny little bag and there's actually two candles in here one of which we might as well just head straight in with the autumn it's a little pumpkin so quite a few of you have actually sent me pictures of this pumpkin candle in primark saying i need to get it you guys were right it's so cute it's only two pounds and they also had it in a gold kind of brushed gold on there which i was tempted to get both but i ended up just going with the one even just sat there switch out some of these a little bit change it up it looks so cute so two pounds and then the other candle within this bag i just thought looked so h&m zara home just kind of designer inspired so it's got a really long wick that obviously you can cut to burn um it's unscented burns up to 40 hours however does anyone really burn candles that are designed like this because i can't even imagine what it would look like burnt or as it's a burning again it was super affordable at just two pounds i thought that maybe stacked up again kind of styled or on top of um coffee table books would just look so nice okay whilst we're on the topic of candles i might as well carry on showing you the other home fragrance bits that i picked up so i actually maybe went a bit overboard maybe not depends how you want to see it i personally love home fragrance so i picked up three reed diffusers definitely going to keep these boxed up ready for when we've renovated so that i've got a fresh reed diffuser to put out this one's going to go in a bedroom this is the sleep reed diffuser their branding their packaging everything about it they've definitely upped their game i feel like they're starting to dupe a few brands as well have noticed that so this one is in lavender and chamomile the sleep fragrance it was five pounds and it says it lasts up to 12 weeks i'll actually get it out so you can see what it will look like so the bottle itself is kind of like a frosted white with a wooden lid and then natural wood wick stems and then the other two reed diffusers that i picked up very much duping rituals if ever you've had a rituals reed diffuser which i have and personally I have found that Rituals Reed Diffusers are the best I've ever used in terms of the scent lasting, actually being able to smell it. So yeah. So if this is anything like the Rituals one, I will be very, very happy. This one is in Sea Sage and even the little kind of branded gold stamp there. These are 200 mils. Sea Sage, I also got dark pomegranate. I feel like this one would look nice in Tom's in, in the top floor which will be like tom's walk-in wardrobe slash office slash spare room if we need it now these ones were actually seven pounds again lasts up to 12 weeks i'm intrigued to see what the actual bottle will look like if it'll look anything like the rituals one or if it's just the outer packaging that looks like rituals oh no it's very similar okay so it is quite plain in terms of there's no like primark branding or anything like that but it's a similar kind of shape to the rituals one and it comes with black reeds so yeah seven pounds good little gift idea as well for someone if you've just got like a small budget for like 
you know, Secret Santa £5 budget. How nice would that be for a homeware lover? And then next up, I picked up this fabric spray. This one is in the scent Clean Cotton, and it comes with a um, white lid and a frosted glass. This is actually glass bottle. White, lilac, and amber, this one is in the scent, £3.50. I thought that would look nice, kind of even on a little display tray, or just popped in a drawer somewhere, you know, like in a spare bedroom or in your bedroom, so that every day when you make your bed, you can just spritz your bed or your curtains or whatever. £3.50, bargain. So then I picked up some incense. I love the idea of burning incense, and even Tom said to me the other day that he quite likes the idea of having incense in his top floor in the loft, and I was like, well, I love incense, so I actually have a bit of a stockpile of some incense ready to go for him. So this one included, I'm gonna to add to my little drawer, my little collection. So this one is in the scent Frankincense, can you see that? Frankincense, grounding and calming. This comes with 20 incense sticks. Light it, blow it out, and it just blows all the way down. And that was only one pound for that little set of 20 incense sticks. Then this one comes with 20 as well, but this one actually comes with the little incense uh, holder. So this one is in the scent Sleep again, but this one is scented Lavender and Sage. As a little set, I think would make a lovely little gift. This one is only at the bargain price of £2.50. And I like the fact that the holder is gold, but it's like a brushed gold. It's not like a real yellowy gold. It's quite a nice subtle gold. So I do love that one. And also, because they're quite short, the incense sticks, I feel like they're not going to burn for too long. You know, if you just want a little hit of incense without it burning for a really long time. Yeah, £2.50. And then the last of the fragrance type products that I picked up was this. In Black Orchid, this is a, a little car diffuser with a vent clip that you simply attach to your vent in your car and it just gives off the scent of Black Orchid. Now obviously that's a bit of a Tom Ford dupe, it sounds like it anyway. And this was only £2.50, so I'm going to pop this in my car this afternoon and I will let you guys know if I particularly like it. I'm sure you'll see it in future Primark calls if I end up loving it. I picked up one pet product and it was something that I actually looked out for and mentioned in my pre previous Primark haul in which I got loads of pet products. If you haven't pet and missed it, you might want to check it out. But this is something I've been on the hunt for. It's the Pet Port and Nose Balm. It's only £2 from Primark and it's something that I have been loving using. Not this particular one, but I had another one which I've found has been good for Barney's pores um, during summer when the floor's a bit warmer and I don't know, it can damage their pores. So yeah, I just use this on his pores when he's like kind of just going off to sleep. I pop a bit on, he tries to lick it off, but pretty soon he realizes it probably doesn't taste that great and leaves it. So this one is with cocoa butter, vitamin E and shea butter, gentle formula and soothing. And then look at this little basket of goodness. How nice does that look? This honestly, this whole homeware section in Primark recently is just has been so impressive to me. So I actually picked up two, no three products from this range of kind of an irregular shaped ceramic beige kind of semi stone semi uh, like porcelain shiny ceramic bathroom products of which this one is obviously a little toothbrush holder. It was only three pounds. I like the fact that it's divided in two as well. So if you did have two toothbrushes, they can, you can keep them separate. And then I also picked up this little pot, this storage jar at six pounds. It is obviously that same kind of ceramic, irregular hammered effect. I just love it. Again, I know I keep saying this, but picture this in Arquette, H&M Home, Zara Home. It'd be a lot more than just six pounds. Even White Company, I just love that. I like the fact that it's not a stark white as well. So I also picked up this soap dish because I actually have a, you know, one of those square soap blocks. I thought would look quite nice in the spare bathroom because um, it's one of them that has like a bit of engraving on it and you very rarely actually use it, but you could use a pop a little brush next to it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find a home for this. Three pounds, again, same kind of cream, stone, ceramic, irregular. Again, it's kind of got like a, not distressing, but like a slightly, almost what looks to be discolored rim. In a, like a darker beige. I just love it, honestly. So impressed with them. And then I also picked up from the homeware section two bowls. I love the size of these bowls, as well as the actual color, texture, and again, 
like hammered kind of texture to it. I just love them. How nice are they? So these are a much darker beige colour. I feel like they've got kind of, if I come in a bit closer, kind of slightly subtle speckled effect to it. Really, really nice. I'm obsessed with these. Even the edging and the rim is irregularly shaped so that it's kind of perfectly imperfect. And these are worth £3.50 each. Again, very generously sized, great for just snack bowls like crisps or I'm thinking cereal bowls like a midnight cereal you know when you one bowl just isn't enough this is quite a deep bowl or a pasta bowl as well then i also picked up this at three pound fifty it's one of these little um i want to say bamboo it's more like a walnut wood but slightly darker and yeah just a good little dipping bowl serving bowl salt bowl whatever you want to use this for i don't know i just i can just picture salt that's how I think I'm going to use it anyway. And then I also picked up this seagrass basket. This one was actually in the wellness section, which if you know, is my favourite. It's um, made using seagrass, a little seagrass basket, £5. They had loads of these, like loads of them, so they're not short on them, at least in the Manchester store. And I just love the fact that it's all that same material, the handles, everything. There's no added extras to it, it's just simple seagrass basket love it little flannels rolled up in that maybe in the bathroom speaking of which i got this bamboo exfoliating mitt this is actually a two pack at two pounds these are great for if you are like in between tanning which i am at the minute i've just scrubbed off my tan with something similar to this and i just like the look of them i like the texture to them they're not too abrasive so they are good at exfoliating because i have quite sensitive skin i find if i use something too rough and abrasive it can just really irritate my skin okay then lastly i picked up this this was actually in the menswear section tom actually mentioned the other day he wouldn't mind getting one of those um like handheld mirrors for in his bathroom so four pounds this one was it's just plain black i'm gonna keep it in its box for now i feel like this will just go straight into storage ready to be put upstairs when we've renovated which so close so close to having a bathroom again oh the luxury really random purchase but i just picked up some more socks these ones look really nice sports socks three pairs for three pounds and then these ones two pound fifty for five pairs they're a bit thinner but they're like a really hidden trainer sock in black so yeah i picked up them right i'm going to show you this pr little package that they sent before moving on to the clothing so i'm actually going to switch up the angle and try them on and talk you through the fit because i haven't tried any of them on yet i don't want to say it's amazing if i try it on it looks rubbish so yeah i'll try those on a sec in a second this bag smells amazing they've got some of these room fragrance sachets which you guys know i love i've bought loads of these in the past and they've sent me the lavender silk and this one was £1.50, but this one's only £1, and this one is in the Refresh fragrance, clean cotton, sorry. And then these are all just really random things that they've thrown in as a kind of like end of summer essentials little package. So this is £2, and it's a little face mask kit. These are lovely. I've seen these in there before. It's a shame they don't do like packs of just two white, because that's what I would personally prefer three pounds these ones are super super soft they also sent me one of these lavender eye masks at just two pounds they did actually throw in a towel which if you know i where's my oh it's over there i do actually have a towel similar to this one i've not seen this style in mine is just beige and white stripes whereas this one kind of has a bit of an ombre effect this towel um, but these are so big in size. They're so soft. I really, really like the ones that I've been using previously. And this one is made with recycled cotton. And it is £9. So yeah, it's the same price as the other ones. Except I actually picked the other ones up in sale at £6. And then last but not least, this little makeup bag. Which says sun, sun, sun. And inside there are some products. The actual bag itself is £3. We've got some sunnies in here at three pounds some little hair clips which are three pounds yet again a little pink clay mask these ones are only 80p each and then this again like i was saying dupes this is their little dupe for the Too faced better than sex mascara this one is three pounds and it's called a false lash queen but it looks just like the packaging of the other one okay i just need to clear a bit of space and then i'll be back with you in just a sec to try on the clothes 
Okay, so this is the first two items that I have to share with you. Firstly, the top I think I'm going to start with. Obviously, excuse the fact that I have zero fake tan on right now. I'm due to do it tomorrow. So, yeah, feeling a little insecure with my pale skin, but um, it's what it is. Anyway, I love this kind of high neck. It's got shoulder pads. Now, I went for a small in this, which is a 10 to 12. I'm quite glad I did. I was thinking about sizing up, and I'm so glad I didn't because it's, it is already quite a size. I've just tucked it in slightly there, but a nice length. I think I was thinking more of a size so I could maybe pair it with leggings. But actually, I still think, I think I could wear this with like leather look leggings or something. Um, I do think it looks better styled with jeans. Because you can just kind of do a little half tuck like this. So it's like a knit, kind of cricket style jumper. I feel like I wouldn't look out of place watching Tom play cricket. If I was actually on the field, I wouldn't look out of place. I don't know if it's a little bit too dramatic for me, but it's quite a nice kind of transitional top. So when it is a little bit cooler, maybe you could wear it with like a long sleeve top layered up. But I don't know, I just, I like it as a transitional piece. I like it styled up with these jeans, which are the vintage slim straight high waist jeans. Now, I opted for a 12 in these at 15 pounds. I'm glad I did. They're not too um, baggy around the waist, which I thought they might be. There's a little bit of give, but um, I'm glad I sized up. I'm usually like in between a 10 and a 12 on the bottom. So I'm glad I went for a 12. And they, they're a really nice length. Don't know if you can see that. Ooh. Let me just move the camera down. But yeah, really nice length on the ankles. You can easily just turn them up a little bit, style them more casually with trainers, or even dress up with heels. A really beautiful kind of stone, uh, kind of darker beige color. I love these. So the top 10 to 12 was 12 pounds and these were also 12 pounds. Oh no, 15 pounds. I always forget because their jeans used to be 12 and I think they went to 13 and then they've jumped up to 15. I swear Primark prices are just creeping up every year, which is fine, but gone are the days where everything in Primark is five pounds or under. That's how I feel anyway. But yeah, this is obviously the first outfit. Now I did also pick up these trousers, which I'll try on again with this top. And like I was saying, leather look trousers. These are a beautiful, creamy, kind of ivory shade of faux leather trousers, ecru they call them. Again, I picked these ones up in a 12, so we'll see how they fit. And they actually do up with a little zip and hidden hook on the front there. So let's try these ones on. How was that for a transition? Did that work? <laughs> Probably looked rubbish, but oh well. So these are the cream faux leather leggings. I love these almost they're so close to being perfect they fit really nice on the leg i love the seam detail running down the front they're nice and high-waisted on the front however i feel like they've not given enough excess on the back to make them just as high-waisted because they sit a little bit lower and they also gape so i feel like a size 10 just would be a no-go on my legs so i'd have to stick with a 12 and just wear something probably similar to this top whereby it kind of goes over the back a little bit so it's not too, like, doesn't show that the waist doesn't fit perfectly on the back. Let me just move you down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I do like them. It's just the fit around the waist isn't perfect, but is it worth it for 13 pounds? Let me know what you think. I have to admit, I do love wearing faux leather leggings over jeans, like in winter. They're just so much comfier than a jean. I actually think they look a bit smarter. Okay, I found this a bargain buy at five pounds of this recycled cotton kind of vest, but like a rolled, rolled sleeved vest, muscle fit kind of style. This is in a 2XL, that's the only size they had, but I actually quite liked it. And even if it's just like to sleep in, the, the comfort of this, I feel like the slouchier fit, or even just with a little pair of cycling shorts in this cream colour. I've got some ribbed ones in this colour, which would just pop out the bottom and just wear it in the summer. I don't know, quite liked it. So yeah, I'm going to try this one on now. Are we doing another transition? How did that work? <laughs> Am I getting good? Or is it still cringe? Anyway, this is the muscle fit tee, vest, roll sleeve whatever you want to call it i've just kind of done a little half tuck into these leather leggings i kind of like them styled with these leather leggings actually yeah 
kind of like it. I like the fact that it's a bit longer at the back as well. I think obviously because I have sized up, the sleeves are obviously gaping a bit. So I've just got one of the little nude um, bralettes that Primark do. One of these ribbed ones. I was tempted to pick up another one actually, another set. But they didn't have any in my size unfortunately. So I couldn't. Should we move on? So I've actually only got two items left less clothing than I thought but it is that kind of period where we're only kind of just getting into autumn-y days so I didn't want to go overboard on the autumn wear just yet but I did pick up two more sweatshirts because if one grey sweatshirt isn't enough which I've definitely already got in my wardrobe then I picked up two more so this one is like I said a grey kind of light grey mull I love the colour of this one I got it in a large at £12 and it's got a little detailing here at the bottom where it's got a little split hem so it's slightly longer at the back again the perfect kind of sweatshirt to wear with leggings on a dog walk which let's face it is every single day of my life I'll just keep these leggings on actually just to show you what these sweatshirts actually look like I feel like they're um quite nice leggings to have a sweatshirt with oh the more I'm wearing these leggings the more I'm thinking oh I'm gonna have to like hoist them up because they don't feel like they're fitting properly here do you know what I mean so I don't know I don't know what to do with these because I love the look of the leg I do really like them but anyway this is the sweatshirt nice and oversized on me glad I sized up I like my sweatshirts oversized on me to be nice and baggy and to be honest with you the sleeves aren't that long and oversized so sometimes I even roll up the sleeves but I don't need to with this so 12 pounds is okay like I said Primark prices this was once a fiver although I do think the quality has improved since the fiver sweatshirt days I feel like they still have those kind of sweatshirts or cheaper alternatives in their clothing ranges but I do think if you pay a little bit more you get better quality so same with this one this is actually from the menswear and this was 16 pounds which for a plain sweatshirt for Primark is slightly on the steeper side but I do really like the quality it's nice and thick it almost has like a slight aged look to this color like more of a vintage feel it's got like a real dark kind of hint of green in there okay and this is the men's sweatshirt so yeah again nice and long but you could with this sort of a hem you could kind of pull it up and wear it a bit more casually like so if you wanted to wear it a bit shorter i love this color i love the fabric i love the long sleeves again this is what i like i like the kind of cozy feel to them so definitely check out the menswear if you haven't already um what i'm gonna do is go back towards you know like when we're actually in autumn or just before autumn maybe in september mid to end september and do a lot more of a fashion-y focused primark haul but by all means do let me know if you want me to do a homeware in addition to it, if you like the kind of seeing the homeware pieces that primark have because at the minute for me it's the homeware section that jumps out. I feel like Primark are in that transition period with the fashion. So that is everything that I picked up on this occasion from the Manchester City Store Primark. Let me know what you thought. Let me know which were some of your favourite finds that I included within this video. Thanks to Primark for actually sending me that little PR gift. That was a lovely little surprise to receive. And it was definitely a kind of message to say summer is on its way out and autumn is on its way in. So yeah, I'm so excited for all the autumn content. Let me know if you are too by giving me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.